shut down part of downtown Los Angeles for the Michael Jackson Memorial. Which isn't really that big of a deal because no one goes to downtown LA anyway. So the whole world stopped what it was doing for a few hours to immortalize Michael Jackson. They rented out the Staples Center. John Mayer played. There is even a House resolution declaring how long he'll be remembered. It's forever and ever, in case you were wondering. I have to say, the whole thing was tiring. And I should know, because I was there. Well, near there. Though I didn't got a gold ticket, I took the fancy LA subway down to see what was going on. And guess what? So did a lot of other people. It was a great place to be if you wanted to buy a t-shirt or a decal or some ice cream. You can see all the stars as you walk down Hollywood Of course, I could have stayed home and watched the whole thing on CNN. They didn't report on a single other story happening anywhere else in the world the entire morning. Now that is showing respect for the dead. You know, or not. Even afterward, Wolf Blitzer and company were helpful enough to recap everything that had happened at the big event. Less than half an hour after it had happened. On CNN. Where we were watching it. Because our attention spans have gotten that short. What? Now, I could go into some big treatise on fame and entertainment and culture, but I'm tired. I'm exhausted. We had the big concert, we saw the Golden Coffin, we even tried it out the kids so their first public appearance could be expressing a very private moment of grief on stage in front of millions of people. There's even gonna be a DVD. Can we stop now? Because if not, I'm gonna need a nap. Hey.